According to legend, in a lake in the north of Scotland was a nearly mythical creature. In many drawings and sculptures, the Loch Ness Monster often has been pictured as a prehistoric plesiosaur, an ancient marine reptile with a long neck, tail, a saucer-shaped body, and four flippers. But just where does this image of the monster come from? A 1934 photograph taken by Dr. Robert Wilson and published in the Daily Mail shows just such a creature. There's a strange history to this photo, however. Its story starts not in Scotland, but in the south of England. There, in 1994, two investigators visited 93-year-old Christian Sperling. From his deathbed, he told them a curious tale. In 1933, after several sightings, interest in the monster had soared. The Daily Mail hired Sperling's stepfather, big game hunter and entertainer Marmaduke Wetherill to track the creature down. Wetherill found footprints in the mud at the lock. Making casts of the prints, he announced his success. When the casts were examined at London's Natural History Museum, however, it was found that they had been made with a dried baby hippo's foot, probably part of an ashtray. The newspaper ridiculed Wetherill for being caught in the hoax. Vowing he would give them their creature yet, Wetherill planned his revenge. He had Sperling build him a monster. Starting with a clockwork toy submarine, Sperling used plastic modeling material to add a head and back. Wetherall and his son Ian then drove up to the lock, taking Sperling's creation with them. Finding a quiet cove, they proceeded to take several photographs of the model monster. They planned to pass the undeveloped film to Wilson to a third party. Wilson, using the story that he'd been driving along the lock when he'd seen movement in the water and stopped to take photos, would have them developed. He then sell them to the Daily Mail. The scheme worked too well and the photos became a sensation. The conspirators decided they'd better bury the story, much like they had buried Sperling's monster when they were done with it, in the mud at the edge of the lock. The investigators, Alistair Boyd and David Martin, expose the hoax in a book. Does this mean that Loch Ness has no creature? Not everybody accepts the story of Sperling's monster, and even Boyd believed that while Wilson's photos were a fake, a real animal still lived in the lake. So the controversy surrounding the existence of the Loch Ness monster continues even today, and tourists still come to Scotland hoping that they can catch a glimpse of the mythical beast. <laughs>